Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and today I will present you a very powerful wizard for the sales, uh, ServiceNow connector. So from your iPad Go, download the ServiceNow connector, should be a version that is higher than 155. Also you have the option from your iPad Studio, if you have the Go link, here you go search for ServiceNow connector, your iPad Team ServiceNow connector, and here you just click and update, to install your version. Okay, so Inside of the uh, UAPAT uh, team folder, you'll find a ServiceNow connector. And today we'll talk about Get Data Wizard Second. Let's understand what is this Get Data Wizard Second. So I have uh, an application scope where I configure the, the connection. I will test my connection. Okay, I have a good connection with the server. Then I will hit load to load all the um, objects. Yeah. So this wizard will allow you to work with any type of object from ServiceNow and you are able to search and create reports very fast. Let's work with, uh, so I have a full list here with all the data, with all the uh, objects. I will work with incident because it's easy for me and I will say to see the search comment. So let's see how, uh, which is the new, this is the new wizard. So basically he knows on the object all the elements, all the uh, properties of the object. And all the properties, he knows the, uh, the type of the property. So if it's string, you can do all this type of decision with string. That contains between start and so on. If it's numeric, you'll do this decision. If it's boolean, you'll do this decision. If it's date, you'll do between and other stuff. So he's able to extract all the elements and you are able to put condition on all the elements how you want. So let's go and do first short description, yeah? On the short description, we'll say contain and we'll say make, yeah. And if I run it, I will see here the result. By default, he return only system ID. Now I can go and configure. So I have all the parameters and I want to see what I want to see on the on my report. I want to see the number, yeah. Okay. I want to see the description. I will put both description and short description. And I'll go back and yes, I have the short description, the number, the description and the system ID. Now, I want to see also the group, on what group we have, yeah? So I'll write group. And you see here on the group, that group is a reference to another table, yeah? So if I double click, the system will put me an ID, but I don't want to see an ID. I want to see the group name. So I'll click right. And the system will extract for me all the parameters from the group. And I will double click on name. And I will have now the group name, which is database. Good. So now I will save this. And here I will go to the parameters. On the parameters, the system declare all the things that I put on the decision, declare um, uh, as a parameter, yeah? And here I can put variables. So instead of make, I can put a variable that I define on new iPad Studio and so on, yeah? For now, we'll let make. Okay. This will return a data table with exactly what we configure. And I save this on an Excel. Let's run this and see what's happened. Okay. So here the system extract all the, the data for me. So you have the description, everything. Everything that I configure on the window, it's extract very, very fast. Um, uh, to an Excel file in my case. It's a data table and from that data table you can do what you want. Now, let's see what else we can do with this in this window. So, for example, I want to see in service now, I have uh, here, I want to see when it was created, uh, the incident, yeah? So let's uh, see the incidents that are created in June, yeah? So first I will say open date. We'll say date, you know, say here that I have open at, yeah? Uh, and I will say that it's greater than, and the date will be June. Okay, yeah? I don't have any, uh, um, uh, so uh, let's uh, remove the, um, because remember we have the short description. And these are, uh, these are all my incident that are uh, created. Let's put the date now to see the uh, uh, open date, open at. 
Okay, good. So these are the, the incidents that are created in, in June. But let's see that I want to see, see only until 12th of June or until 13th of June, yeah? So I can go here and I will say, oh, the open date, I will say between, yeah? And I will say like this. Yeah, this will not contain the, the limits. So let's run it. And now I have only the incidents that are in 11 and in 12. So remember, this is a very, very powerful wizard that allows you to create any type of, um, extract any type of data and create reports from your ServiceNow instance. And then you can um, do what you want with, uh, with this data. For more information about uh, this wizard, please follow me on the channel on the YouTube. So here on this channel, you have around 35 movies that show you what you can do with the ServiceNow and Salesforce connector. Very powerful connector that allow you to make implementation of a process in minutes. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.